So in honor of Cat Box? No, what was the name? There was a Twitter account that just blocked me. Uh, catbot. Catbot.exe. They were spamming me cat pictures. So I decided I'll spam them cat facts. Right? So I told them about, you know, like feline coronavirus, which causes aggressive diarrhea in cats and is probably leading to cancer, and how we might be able to mitigate this by changing the way that our cat box is managed in, like, traditional society, like how we are all taught to handle cats might be wrong. In the wild, uh, stray cats will all shit in a very particular area. Now, if you've ever had a cat, you might know that if you don't empty the litter box, they'll just shit on the floor. This is a huge problem, right? Like, so you don't want them to shit on the floor. But in the wild, they'll all shit in the same area. They don't just, I mean, obviously they're shitting on the floor, but they, they find very particular areas where they can bury the, the, the fecal waste and do really kind of shitty cat things, you know? Where like, you get these problems where kids will go play in a sandbox and they'll just be full of cat shit and you get a like, three-year-old eating cat poop. And like, well, that's a problem. Um, don't let your kids do that. That's disgusting and can spread parasites. One of the... One of the more awful things that can happen is you'll get a kid that's one, two years old, their immune system hasn't fully turned on yet, and they're eating the, the cat feces, and then they get Toxoplasma gondii, which then spreads through the child's entire body and basically kills them. If not, it at least leads to a form of blindness. It's really awful. This is why uh, they say pregnant women shouldn't handle litter boxes. That's because they might ingest the Toxoplasma gondii and it will spread into the, the fetus. That's bad. And I want to figure out how to fix that, and so I was spreading information to this person, saying like, hey, you know, maybe we can emulate what the cats are doing in the wild and use soil bacteria to neutralize the ammonia. The thing with the cats where uh, if you don't empty their litter box, they shit on the floor, it's that over time the litter box builds up an ammonia scent. At a low level of ammonia, it's fine. The cats will poop in it just fine because they, they know this is where I have to poop. It smells like the bathroom to them. But once the ammonia levels get too high, whether it's through the urea or the fecal matter itself, uh, at some point you get it where the cat doesn't want to poop. It's too much bathroom. It, it overwhelms them. There's like a, a tipping point. And, well, there's soil bacteria that literally metabolize ammonia. Uh, some guy at MIT, I don't know his name off the top of my head, invented a, a spray, like a, I think it's like AO Biome. And what it is, you can actually like put this on yourself. It's a soil bacteria. It makes it so you don't smell bad. And apparently this guy hasn't showered for like 20 or 15 years or something like that. It's ridiculous. But what it is, is that the urea, uh, the chemical in pee and also in sweat that is leaked out of the cat when he goes potty, uh, the urea is eaten by bacteria, and that bacteria create ammonia, and that's why litter boxes stink. So this soil bacteria, the AO biome one, and probably a bunch of others we just don't know about, um, that bacteria is a, uh, I think it's a nitrogen-fixing bacteria. It does something interesting where it, it takes the ammonia and it converts it into something else, and in the process it creates hydrogen peroxide. So, hydrogen peroxide is a disinfectant. So I'm thinking, has anybody experimented on putting the soil bacteria in the litter box, and does that reduce the load of feline coronavirus? Or, more specifically, if you have a cat that has Coronav uh, feline coronavirus associated diarrhea and it shits in the litter box and that litter box has this ammonia fixating bacteria producing hydrogen peroxide does the coronavirus from the cat's fecal waste get disinfected and further does the other cats who go and also use the litter box if they like spread the dirt, you know, like they're they're doing the thing cats do where they're covering it up. They're getting their sh shit all over their paws, and then they go out, and their paws are dirty, and they're licking their paws, you know, because they're, they're trying to clean themselves. 
do they avoid or do they reduce the rate of uh, fecal-borne transference of the feline coronavirus? That's a really interesting question, and I don't know if anybody's doing this research. I don't know if anybody's even thought, maybe our litter box practices are bad because we just get fucking clay, and maybe we need to figure out how to change the microbiome of a cat box so it doesn't smell bad. And what we get one benefit is less cats shitting on the floor. The other benefit is less cats having diarrhea. And if this works for other uh, feline-related diseases, we might be able to like, prevent them from getting cancers and prevent them from getting all these other uh, really destructive things that end up hurting, you know, what would be considered man's second best friend, uh, the cat. Um, so anyway, the the Twitter account, the catbot.exe, uh, cat just spammed me out of the blue, so I decided to spam them back with cat facts. And now I'm going to, to uh, now that I've explained this concept, I'm going to show you a program that I made in 2013. Um, give me a second here. You can't actually see my display. So it's called Cat Box, but it's B-O-C-K because it's actually a portmanteau of box and blocks. And I just I just did this for fun one day with uh, experimenting with Unity, and I just I just thought this would be the most annoying thing in the world just to, to put the cream on the top of this weird interaction I had with uh, an automated account on Twitter who did eventually block me. So Cat Blocks, right? Cat Box? Huh? Um, here it is. Let's see if it works. All right, I gotta run it in windowed mode. And there it is. Yeah. This is Catbox. So if you click, you can make more boxes. You can see there's a a cute little cat. Oh, that one's falling over. Oh. And uh, this is meant to be a screensaver. That's really loud. I have to. Um. Yeah. So it's a screensaver. So this is just doing full screen on your desktop, and you're. You can play with it. You know, you can play with the cat box. It's kind of funny. Um, I wanted to eventually do like a sand simulation where you could actually like dig in the cat box and uncover cat, whatever these are, cat blocks. Um, so because it's a screensaver, you're like, okay, clicking doesn't work. Do you hit escape? This is what happens when you hit escape to get out of the screensaver. They are really big cat boxes. Uh, and of course, every time you hit escape, it gets bigger. So this is a cacophony of cat boxes. Or cat blocks, I guess, because it is a box. It's more of a cube. I don't... cat cube, but that doesn't really make the pun work, so... Anyway, the only way to actually get out of here is to Alt F4, which is kind of a trick. If you go to click on it, it just makes more of the boxes. It's, uh, it's really obnoxious. So anyway, yeah. Soil bacteria making cat boxes not smell bad, potentially disinfecting them. We should look into that. I, I think that is really worthwhile. And the uh, moral of the story is don't spam me on Twitter because uh, you'll, you'll learn something. You don't necessarily want to learn it.